Welcome crafters, Andy is Yoga here and welcome back to this let's build. It's a Minecraft house, it's a modern house, it's on my server and this is episode 11. Let's take a quick spin around the outside of the house. We have been building this over 10 episodes so far. This might be the last one if we get enough done to date. Sorry, it's been two weeks since the last episode. I do apologize, I've just been making other videos. I hope you do appreciate that. But um, what I plan to do in the future, like my apartment block, uh, let's build is just build much much faster in fewer episodes I think you guys appreciated my apartment build which is only four episodes and then last few details can be put um, in in a stream so let's get going the pool area here is pretty cool I might work on some lighting to start with I think I had some lights up here before but I want to do another version I've got them kind of ready for us here today so I'm gonna select from that block to that block with a bit of world edit magics underneath the bedrock blocks i've got this glowstone all the way along by the way i'm using the utb texture pack you can download it link in the description to the website where you can download it from and let me see right so we've selected all that i want to type in slash slash fast which means that the layers like snow will stick to uh, the air and not fall down so i'm going to do slash slash replace the air comma the sponge which is, is that definitely a comma sponge which is those orangey blocks with 78 6 which is layers of snow and you can see there's a little gap at the top there well you might just be able to see that little gap there where it's not quite full layers of snow then i'm going to do slash slash replace seven with pot and that gives us the little pots hanging down and if we wanted to be absolutely completely bothered we could put cactus hanging down like that out of every single pot there we go uh you could go potty doing this though boom 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 right so there's our lights what do you think for the corridor not bad so this is the corridor let me show you around we've got a guest room in here not got any doors yet we've got a playroom to furnish in there today we've got the kitchen We've got the living room over there. We'll come back to that in a second. We've got a dining room, uh, some pantries and whatnot over, over there. If you come onto my server, then you can do slash warp mod and you can see around the build. Um, we've got nothing in here, actually. Hmm. Nothing in here whatsoever. Let me just put some hooks up. People can hang their coats up in there, I suppose. Um, trip wire hook i haven't retextured this yet i'm actually still working on it it's quite difficult to retexture texture hooks and then we'll put some more coat things up in there and probably in here as well so th th this place is all set for coats that's for sure um right so we've got this impluvium so if you've been watching the series you'll know that this is um open to the air and it's based on some houses i saw in pompeii in italy 2000 year old ruined houses um and they had this this room so you come in the front door and you've got this room where the rain can come in and just fill up this little pool. So as long as you have nice big doors here and here and here, you've got kind of a semi-outdoor room right in the entrance. And I, I think it's lovely. So I, I appreciated that when I visited it and I thought, God, you can hang more coats up here. You might need to use these other rooms for something different, like storage of boxes or something. Right, you've got a hallway here and an office to furnish probably in this episode and a teeny tiny toilet in here. Um, around here, we've got the home cinema, very dark. I'm sorry you can't see it very well, but there's a screen down there. Um, we've got a nice projector as well. A weird funky purple bar, I'm not too sure about that. And then back to the living room. And then we've got the bedrooms. So a quick tour really. Bedroom one, master bedroom, and other bedrooms in here. Um, this one is by Fracture, a teenager's room. This one by Gall. Bunk beds. This one by Ward. So very good boys very impressed indeed right where were we up here we were doing some lighting so what i've got is a nice uh, array of eight balls with a little white ball to create a bit of artistic interest hopefully and i'm going to go from and what i've got is the glowstone in there and i'm going to select from here to here and have some kind of downlighters in the painting so we want these commands again so replace air with a sponge and replace seven with a pot and we'll stick our cactus in here so to get on the server you need to apply you need to apply and to apply I don't know if I like the pots hmm oh what the heck I'll leave them yeah to apply to the server 
um, you go onto the website, use the blocks.engine.com. I can't talk and place blocks at the same time, it's my problem. And uh, yeah, fill out the Padawan application form. I'm gonna have white balls on this one. Dun, dun, dun. So a black balls wall and a white balls wall. Boom. With a suspicious black ball right in the middle. I'm sure this is racist somehow, but I don't know. It's just paintings, forgive me. Uh, change this to a black ball, there we go. Maybe it's something to do with sheep, I don't know. Black sheep uh, and white sheep. Right, so there to there, and we want to also have some of these. Maybe I could just use skylights, but no, I think I would prefer uh, some glowstone. We've also got some details to put on the roof as well. I think that should go there. And bedrock, 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 bedrock. Right, now I can set up my commands again. Right, we'll do something a bit more interesting in a second. <laughs> Uh, there we go. So we've got lighting for the paintings. Let's go out into the pool and see how they look. Not too bad at all. Okay, off camera, I'll do another one over there, over there on that painting there. But we want to get on and crack on to this playroom. So this is a kid's playroom. Um, let's get going. So let's have some toys over here. So right in the corner, we can have that. Da -da -da -da. Let's have this here. This room is designed by Gal Gal again, and so I'm just pretty much following his furnishing design. I do like relying on a lot of the builders on the server to furnish my rooms. I think they do a fantastic job, um, and a lot of them I think are probably better, or if not, just as good as me at furnishing, and, it, and it's uh, just awesome to watch them build uh, on this server. Right, what we're doing here? Um, we're making some games here, making some little kids games. So I'm gonna put a sign here, uh, and this is fishing game 2000. And we're gonna get some item freemies, and hopefully these can go, press shift, they can go there and there. I can get some carpet on top I get some water in there uh, another item frame just there and then get a little fishing rods right there a little fishing game what do you think of that? <laughs> I like that let's have a little driving game here um, where'd you get the records and discs from and stuff I don't know I've never this will do for steering, steering wheel I was going to place a a record there, but that'll do. Um, hmm. Let's have that there for the sake of. Oops, I want. Oh, I need some more. I'm trying to grip them. Some more item frames there and there. Uh, let's get an empty map like this. Boom, boom, boom. Click it here. I'm gonna put that there and there to seal that up. So that's like a, a driving game. Maybe a driving a boat game, I suppose. And we'll stick some carpet on top. Um, and yeah, let's do the same again here and here on the fishing game. I know it's all the same, but they could be changed for something a little bit later on. Um, I don't know what game this is. Hmm. I don't know what game this is. I'm going from a picture that I took of Golgo's furnishing, because Golgo furnished the room, and then uh, he showed me a picture of what he'd done. Um, or I took a picture, I can't remember. Right, I want a slime block, and this is going to be a mini, a mini, a mini, 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 mini trampoline. <laughs> okay, probably quite dangerous next to the glass window, so they're probably going to die. Um, but never mind. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, right, let's do it with string. Could use barrier blocks. So you use string just now for quickness. And I'll test it out. I said we'll test it out. Oh, it doesn't bounce. Okay, it doesn't bounce. Why doesn't that bounce? Alrighty, what do we else do we want in this place? Let's have um, a bit of a climbing frame, I think. I might be going off script here from what Golgo wanted. But we're going to have kind of a climbing frame. Boom, 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 boom. 
up to there. A little ledge, I think. The kids will love sitting up on this little ledge. A little playroom up here as well. I think that's pretty cute. Let me bring that round as well. So they've got some little places to play up there uh, as well. Just maybe seal this off here for safeties. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. So they can climb up the climbing frame. Right? Get to the little safety position up here and throw things down at their mum and dads who come to the door to tell them tea's ready. There we are. Um, what else can we have in this room? Hmm. Um, maybe a big, a big blackboard would be good. And I think there's some black maps somewhere on the server. So I'm going to go and grab a black map and also some player heads to scatter about toys. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've got some player heads and I've got some black maps. So this is a nice big uh, chalkboard here like that for all the kids to draw on. Do you know what would be really cool is if we made a map which had like chalk drawings on it. Oh, someone do it please on the server, <laughs> one of the builders. Scatter some toys, fish tank. Yep, just lying out in the open, I guess. We'll put a fish tank up here. Um, and some more toys, there we go. Um, oh, how did he get there? Okay, he'd stay there. Uh, <laughs> there we go, and some sheeps. Boom, 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 and there we are. Yeah, I like it. And then these guys have got a little exit out onto their own private little garden. Can we put some goalposts up there, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the kids' room completed. Um, let's fire through to the office and get the office done this episode as well. Okay, so there is the office space. Let me get some ingredients. Cool, I'm back. I've been working hard. I've got all my ingredients laid out for this office. Now, this office was designed again by one of the builders on the server. Unfortunately, I don't know who it was. I've forgotten their name. So, slash slash set one three is going to set this floor to diarrhea out. And that is a nice, sophisticated looking grey floor. So, that's going to set the tone for what we're going to have in in here. So, um, first of all, we're going to just increase this wall to make it look a little bit more sophisticated like that. Then we're going to put some crafting tables along there like that. And then one thing I didn't get into my inventory is some little planty pots. Let's go for just white tulips because we're going for a kind of a grey, oops, a grey design, grey and white design just like that. Loving it. Um, something else I want is whatever gives me the safe is it that one or is it a dropper one of these is like a, uh, a safe that's the one so I want to place a safe there like in that okay that's a little change from what the other guy who furnished this uh, suggested we're gonna go for another one of these weird plant things right here let me grab the plant a modern plant thing don't ask um, okay, so I want a super big desk, I think. Um, I'm going to mark it out in just leaves and then change these leaves into the blocks that I want a little bit later on. So I think this is about right. Bring this desk. Oh, that's about far enough. Um, like that. I think take these off like that. Right, I'm trying to follow the design that the builder made. Whoever it is, thank you so, so much, and please let me know uh, who built this. There's going to be 15 million people in the comments trying to, it was me, it was me, I built it. Let's have a couple of seats that are tucked in under the desk, and one seat back like that. Now, I'm going to do something quite cool here. It's this command, uh, give Andy Zoda Minecraft colon barrier, and it gives me these barrier blocks, which we can then actually build on. Let me just move this across and put barrier block, barrier block, um, there, there, and I think there, 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 and then we're going to miss one out, hmm, yeah, that's, that, that. miss that one there, and that, that one goes there, right, now we can start to picture how this place is going to look. Another barrier block there. And this is all desk. Desk, 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 desk. Maybe the wrong colour or desk, but never mind. Um, like that. So And that goes there. So these seats are tucked tucked in. And the idea is they're kind of tucked in under the, the carpet, like that. And this seat isn't tucked in. This is whoever owns 
the office, the master of the house, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna go for some pressure plates. Do we have it? Oh, I didn't pick up a pressure plate. Well, let's just take a, one of these ones. I'm gonna have a computer in here. A computer on the desk. Um, Computer on the desk about here, I suppose. Bo -bo 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 um, yeah, time to change this block into something decent. Let's just go for stone. One, two, three. And here again, we'll put another computer back here. Now let's put a computer just there. Right, pressure plate, signpost. Um, no. Pressure plate has to go there. That's clever. I see. So the sign needs to go on the back of the pressure plate. So we couldn't have it there where the carpet is. So that's where we can place the mouse. There we go. Mouse to the computer. Um, and then we need a painting. Did I have a painting out here? Nope. I didn't pick that up either. Come on, Andy. Get with the program. I don't think we're going to finish in this episode. We're going to have one more episode of this house. Um... We're just going to tidy it up, I think, in the next episode. That's pretty much. I have another computer here. Can't have her have enough computers. Nice big monitors. What a desk this is. Right, we want to change this with world edit. But first of all, I want to put some carpet on top of the desk. Um, don't think any can go there. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, Spencer, go away. You can go. You can go. Okay, so. Um, what is that code? It is dark leaves, which is 1611 slash replace 1611 with um, 786, which is layers of snow. <laughs> of course it failed. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Is there lag? There we go, 161. So there is my sophisticated little desk what do you think um now what's going to go here you may ask well whoever furnished this and i can't remember who it was i really disappointed i can't remember who decided we're going to have a little lamp here so gra grab that sea lantern boom, like that there we go and we can put a couple of signs around it so i hope you enjoyed this episode this has been office furnishing and playroom furnishing and some lights and i guess we'll have one more episode just to make sure we finish off the details of this house um, let's have a couple of paintings on the wall if you want to come to see this house then it is warp mod um, let me just put these down by one warp mod one mod one uh, right last detail I'm gonna go for something a bit weird in this texture pack we have zombie heads are like little lamps from Below. Oh, you want it to be straight. Zombie, zombie, zombie. And then we're going to get the lever, put it underneath, and that'll do. Boom, boom. Some cool little lamps. We've got a nice office. I am liking that. We could probably put a little bit of carpet on the floor. I'm not sure this is absolutely perfect, but it, it is pretty good. I like that. That's a nice office. And we might even get another painting over there. I think I can see somebody. Let's go and say hello to Owner Dusky. Hello. What's he looking at? What is he looking at? Nothing much. Um, <laughs> that will do, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. One more episode just to tidy up a few details here and there. And maybe make a, a, a tour. Um, oh, we've got some stuff to do on the roof as well in terms of white carpet. But yeah, that'll be coming up in just a couple of days' time. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been Andy Zoda. You've been you, I suppose, as always. Um, but yeah, what am I talking about? Bye-bye. <laughs>